In this week's Talking About Orcs, we're going over the Battle Wagon, the basic Battle Wagon that has been around for quite a while in various forms, various iterations, and even long before there was a model which left the Battle Wagon open to many conversions and looting. So the Battle Wagon is a single model. It has no guns, it has no options, it is just a model. It has movement starting at 12, weapon skill plus skill 5, strength 8, toughness 7, wound 16, attacks 8, attack 6, leadership 7, 4 plus save, and it degrades on movement, strength, and attacks. It does not degrade on weapon skill or ballistic skill. So the options you need to have either a cannon, kill cannon, or zap gun, but the kill cannon reduces your transport capacity from 20 to 12. Just like it has for a very long time. It seems like some of these rolls have just been around forever. And you just take them as normal. You can take up to four big shooters. Again, that starts to add up the points to it. And this model may take extra. And we can art case or, and or death roller. And this model may take items from the battle wagon equipment list. Which includes like the gravel claw and lava and rot riggers and stuff like that. It has daka 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 open topped. Models embarked on this model can attack in the shooting phase. Measures the range and draw line of sight from any point on this model. When you do so, any restrictions or modifiers that apply to the model also apply to the passengers. For example, the passengers cannot shoot if this model fell back in the same turn and cannot shoot. If this model is a, except for pistols, if it's within one determined enemy unit, and so on. Which includes moving and shooting heavy weapons, so you cannot move and shoot Udas without the penalty, unfortunately. Hard case, if this model is equipped with an hard case, its toughness, in, in, its toughness characteristic is increased by one, so that goes to toughness eight, which is really nice. And it loses the open top ability. Explodes. If this model is reduced to zero wounds, everything within six suffers d6 mortal wounds, so it explodes pretty big. And Mortal Fortress model ignores the penalty from moving and firing heavy, heavy weapons, which is nice because all its main guns are heavy. So that's really nice. And carry 20 models, uh, Mega Armors jump pack R2, and drops to 12 with a kill cannon, as I said. And of course, it can take clans and is a vehicle. Uh, so the Battle Wagon has two main roles that same two roles it's pretty much always have you can either build it as just a basic assault transport where its only purpose is to get the contents into your enemy's face as quickly as possible or you can build it as a weapons platform to kind of sh sit back and shoot a little bit so the base price is 120 which is okay i think it's a little overpriced but unfortunately with something with that many wounds and that high of toughness it's never going to go down that's just the price we're going to be stuck with forever and it's, it's never going to be adjusted. So um, we can complain about the price if we want to, but it's not exorbitantly overpriced, maybe 10 points, 20 at the most, but it's not going to change. Um, so a cannon or a kill cannon is 15 points. They're both the same price, so you probably never want to take a cannon. Uh, we're going to take the kill cannon every time because it heavy D6, strength 8, minus 2, D and 2 damage. Those are pretty decent stats. Even it's 24 inch range, but with the movement, you can move and shoot without penalty. So that's fine. And then you give it four big shooters. Again, that's 20 points. And give it the lava from the battle wagon equipment list, which is how many points? I didn't look that one up. I think they're like 15, right? 18 for the lava. So that puts it at about one, a little over 180 points. Uh, art case is free. So if you're gonna do all that, you wanna give the art case for that extra toughness, of course. But the uh, art case is zero points, which is really nice, for sure. And so then you just have uh, just a mobile gun platform. You can put some guys in there too to kind of defend it. Maybe you put the force field mech inside to uh, protect it and a unit of tank busters that can jump out and shoot. Because there's the art, art case, it's not gonna have the open top ability. But tank busters and looters are probably the two most popular units to put in the trans the shooting transport is oh I'm sorry three rolls the shooting transport where its main purpose then is just to protect the models inside and the only difference is going to be the art case so you can have this as a gun platform with 20 looters in it or 19 looters and a mech and then my personal reference would be to have two units of five and a unit of nine and a mech in a battle wagon with four big shooters, a lava, and a cannon. Or you could drop that down to 11 looters and a big mech in a battle wagon with the uh, kill cannon. And just sit there and shoot, and with the five up in save and that many wounds, it's gonna be there for a little while. 
especially if you've got other stuff going on that's putting pressure on your opponent like bikes or jumps or commandos or anything else it's just hitting or teleport is anything that's getting to your opponent's face is going to take some pressure off the battle wagon and just sitting there back there shooting but the uh, kill cannon option is not bad it's a little short of range because you have to kind of move and maneuver so that's probably why you'd want uh, tank busters in that case instead of the Ludas. But if you remember the cannon option, because it's nice 36 inch range, you can sit back and just shoot. Shoot everything out of it. Just, uh, you can just picture the battle wagon just kind of sitting there, still on the battlefield, and just all this DACA flying out of it everywhere. But, so yeah, that's what the battle wagon is going to be good for. It really hasn't changed much in a very, very long time since what fourth even fourth edition it's basically been the same so like 15 years and there's nothing wrong with that it's always been what it is and some people really love battle wagons I'm okay with them I don't have a problem I played battle wagons quite a bit actually as both assault transports and shooting platforms to keep the Ludus safe because actually 16 wounds of toughness 7 is a lot to get through I mean, it's, I mean, there are some armies that will just do that and no problem, but not always. And again, if you have other things to put pressure on your opponent that are closer, then your battle wagon will survive long enough to get the job done. Kill tank is a great distraction for a battle wagon, by the way. Um, but let's talk about the kit, too. The kit itself is pretty good. I mean, some people say it's a little undersized. It's not that much bigger than the truck model. Um, but it is distinct enough where you clearly tell it's a battle wagon instead of a truck. And, you know, it's not too hard to enlarge. People have done it, you know, just put a strip half inch wide down the middle, cut it in half, put a wide strip on it. It's a very popular conversion for battle wagons. But I think the size of the battle wagon is fine for practical game turns where you have to put it in a deployment zone. So while the battle wagon might be a little bit bigger, uh, Practic practically, I think it's fine the way it is. And the kit itself is just fantastic. It's a beautiful kit. You can build it in a myriad of different ways, especially with the upgrade sprue, where you got the death roller and the um, uh, kit cannon to go along with everything else. And that's probably why they have all the options limited to the way they are, is because this is based on the kit. You look at the kit. This is what's in there. This is what you can put on it. And... Again, and oh, Death Roller. I forgot to mention the Death Roller, how perfectly okay the Death Roller is. It's 19 points, so it's a little spendy, but it does hit on 2 plus, always. No matter how many wounds are left on a battle wagon, the Death Roller will always hit on 2 plus because the weapon skill and business skill doesn't degrade. Then it's melee, strength plus 1, minus 2 AP, and 2 damage. So it's not bad. I mean, it's not tremendous, but it's not bad. It's not the Strength 10 um, death, guaranteed death uh, that it used to be at one time. Death Roller used to be one of the most powerful things in the entire game. <laughs> By the way, where you could ram and do damage with the Death Roller and you would just annihilate almost everything you touched with it. It was fantastic. But I digress. <laughs> Um, that didn't last very long. That was nerfed pretty hard pretty quick. So anyway, I have used Battle Wagons in both, in pretty much all three roles. Mostly in the Index. I haven't used it since the Codex came out. Um, but under the Index, I used it to hold Ludas while I had wave after wave of jumping boys. I have used them as, as combat transports for tank busters. And I have used it as a shooting platform with a kill cannon and big shooters. I had to lob it though. I don't think that was an option in the index. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and they've always performed okay because, again, it's a little overpriced. It's a little. Um, underpowered for the. I would say the meta. I hate to use that sometimes, but in this case it does. Because the meta is so focused on killing Imperial Knights that a Battle Wagon, by comparison, is an easy soft target. For what's out there unfortunately if knights weren't so prevalent the battle wagon would probably be a lot better 
And you could probably say that for a lot of heavy vehicles. Um, kill tank. But with the amount of anti-vehicle stuff that people have to take to deal with knights, um, the battle wagon suffers in that only. But the nice thing about the battle wagon, though, is it's perfect for a little less competitive environment. If you're just playing for fun, the battle wagon is fantastic. If you're not playing in the, in, in ITC tournaments, if you're not playing against, you know, just everyone who plays against knights, if you don't play against people who play against knights regularly, battle wagon's gonna be a great model. It's gonna be a fun thing to have on the board, or running around, death rollering things, because um, it's nice to assault with it, with the death roller, despite the price. And these people really aren't expecting it to do that much damage that it can do, especially if you get it before it takes any damage and you're death rollering at strength nine. That's kind of fun. But again, remember, death roller always hits on two plus, no matter what. And because it's in the sweet spot where it's not quite cheap enough to be competitive, but it's not so expensive enough where it's no fun to play. Where it just gets wiped off and you're like, oh, that was kind of a waste of points. It's right in that sweet spot, I think, of beer and pretzels type gaming. So, again, I've run battle wagons in all kinds of configurations. I like them. They're not competitive, but they're not bad. So, have you run battle wagons? How have you run your battle wagons? Um, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new Talking About Orcs videos every Wednesday, new battle reports every Friday, and hobby videos whenever I can. Thanks for watching.